Hey everybody, it's Christina Amato, Young Living Member ID 1531704. I'm going to show you how to sign up a new member with Young Living. As the holidays are approaching, this is often the time when people have a little bit more money to be flexible with. They want to get gifts for others. Maybe they want to use some of their holiday money on themselves, which is great for the purpose of um, getting new members on board. So I'm going to show you how to set up a a new Young Living member. Now, I can only go so far because um, you'll see as we progress, I'll take you as far as I can on my screen, and then I'll walk you through the rest of it um, as best as I can. So to get a new member, signed up, you're going to want to go to youngliving.com. And at the bottom, you can see here that there's a whole bunch of options. You can get people signed up in Europe. You can, if you have a friend in Australia, but most people over here, unless they're up in Canada, typically click on United States and English as the option. If you have a friend who is Hispanic, um, you can also click on the Spanish option as well. So it brings you to this page right here. And up on the top right, there is become a member. And there's the sign in also for people who are existing members. You're going to want to click on become a member. And once that pops up, it's going to show us the form. Now there are two options. One is to become a member and to reap all the benefits of membership, 24% off of all your products. You can get commissions, you can get the premium starter kit, the essential rewards program. And there's also the retail customer, which is an option, but people have to pay full price to become a retail member and there are no commissions opportunities and they cannot get the premium starter kit for the diffuser and all of those oils. So most people make sure that they're clicked on member over here. Now, when you scroll down, it's gonna show country United States, English as the primary language. Now there's two options. There's, I was referred to by a Young Living member and I have his or her number, or there's no one referred me. I do not have a sponsor or enroller. But most people that you speak to have a Young Living ID from a friend or from a family member. And if they're using yours, you're gonna wanna click on this. Now for your own ID number, like for myself, mine is 1531704. I tell people when they are signing underneath me to put my number in both the enroller and the sponsor ID, always. So continue. You wanna be able to get the, the bonuses from being the enroller and the sponsor. So make sure they put your number in both of those spots. So then they go on to fill out their membership information, first name, last name, the address, the city, the usual stuff when you're filling out a form for becoming a member of a company or even just you know a typical profile online. Now down here, they're gonna wanna come up with a profile username It can be anything they want, password, and then the four digit pin down here. Now I wanna bring this to your attention because sometimes people join and they remember their username and their password, but they don't make it a point to remember their four digit pin. This four digit pin is very important. Um, Whenever you speak with customer service, they're going to ask for your four digit pin, or if an upline like myself is speaking to customer service on your behalf, I do need your four digit pin to be able to do so. So just encourage the people who are joining beneath you to always remember their username, password, and four digit pin. So if they have to write that down somewhere, then that's a great opportunity um, for them to maybe pull it up in the future when they need it. So scroll on down. I would say 98% of people are going to be doing this as an individual uh, membership and not a business. So they would click on individual and then you would have them put in their personal tax ID or their social security number. The SSN is important for two reasons. One, it protects people against fraud so that um, people are not using their social security number to um, have multiple accounts. So if the if Young Living recognizes that there's already an account under that SSN, then that they won't go any further than that. So it's actually mutually beneficial for both the member as well as for the company. Um, the company can then make sure that each person is only getting one membership. And then for tax purposes, should anyone ever want to sell oils, um, then the Young Living already has their social security number for tax purposes. Um, but again, nobody ever has to sell any oils unless they want to. So then it would already be in the system. So then you would have them go to the terms and conditions and they would agree to do so. Now, I cannot move past this because I would have to have information um, to do so. I already have an account associated with my social security number, so on and so forth. So I would not be able to do a mock profile for you. But this is the first um, and typically most 
confusing part of getting a member signed up. So then you would just have them go agree and continue. Click on the terms of Young Living Agreement membership and then agree and continue. And after that, when you pull up the next screen, it's going to show you the few options for the kits that they can get. Now, always remember that they want a premium starter kit. That is the essential oil diffuser as well as the 11 essential oils. And that is what's going to give you the $50 or the $25 thank you and the 25% of how much they spend thank you from Young Living. So if you want that $50 plus, you're gonna to wanna to have them get a premium starter kit. It's the most economical for everyone involved. Um, so they would put that premium starter kit in their cart and then if they wanted to shop for anything else, they could easily type in the search bar what they would want and then they just follow through with their credit card information being put in, um, save it all the way through the end, and you know just click process that order. And that's really it. So once they have this screen here filled out, they then just need to click on the premium starter kit with the oils, or they could get a premium starter kit with the Thieves line products, which, was, which would also get you the $50 and would give them the membership. And then they just follow it through to the end and uh, continue and process that order. So that is how you get a new member joined up. Make sure they have your ID number and you want them, them to put your number in the enroller and the sponsor slot. And if you guys have any questions about what an enroller is and what a sponsor is, I'm happy to address those things with you personally. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much.